everyone welcome thank you for being here today i'm going to do something a little bit different i didn't feel like sitting in front of a camera and talking about perfume so through some of the art that i have i'm going to do something a little bit different maybe a little bit interesting and talk about the subjects in the art that i have 90 percent of the art is based on a female subject so what i'm going to do is kind of Think about the perfume that goes with the style of female in each one of the pieces that I have. So starting off, this one is a favorite. I got this one from Anthropology. I love the frame. I love that dress. And there's so much detail that goes into it. I love the fact that she is standing in front of this wall of flowers, magnolia or whatever they are. I love the blue eyeshadow against the brown of her skin and the red lipstick. So it's just kind of eclectic. So if I were to pick a perfume for her, I would pick Dolce & Gabbana Garden. That perfume, the notes in it are Mandarin, Magnolia, Neroli, Ylang Ylang, Coconut, Vanilla, Almond Milk, and Woods. And it's actually inspired by Shades of the Gardens of Sicily in Bloom. So I kind of thought that went together well with this particular piece of art. Okay, for this next one, this is one that I really love also, I got this one also from Anthropology, and this is just a gorgeous green background with, you know, a young lady in her spring dress, I'm assuming with her bouquet of flowers. And for her, I felt initially like Bergamot 22 would have worked because it's a white floral, but then decided on Library of Flowers field and flowers perfume. I thought that was perfect. Um, it's an apricot. It has honey blossoms in it and wildflowers. And I didn't think anything could be better, you know, for this style of art right here. And, um, you know, it's just easy and it kind of fits like the casual spring vibe, I feel, of this particular um painting so yeah field and flowers by library of flowers for her this next one is another favorite orange is my favorite color i love that her back is turned i love that her hair is up in a bun i love the orange dress so the first thing that came to mind for her was ormond jane champaka I have this one and it is so pretty. It's just really elegant. It's a little bit gourmand, but not really too sweet. It's cozy and a little bit creamy. It is a magnolia with bamboo, basmati rice, neroli, champaka absolute, musk, green tea. It's just really elegant while at the same time kind of being gentle and casual. So love it. This next young lady, this one has so much personality. Um, I just love the detail here. I love the detail in her glasses, her hair, her little bun. I love the detail, you know, that's going on behind her with the lights on the wall, the green in her top. I think they put a lot of good detail into this. So for her, I picked Vertivar Blanc, not just because it matches her outfit, which it does, but it's a nice green floral, not too many ingredients in that one. There's citrus, cedarwood, patchouli. It's just fresh and green, and it just works really well um, with this piece of art. Love it. Next, we have this one I got from Etsy. This is a pencil illustration and there is so much detail in her hair, in her dress. This is just so unique to me. So I just get a lot of attitude 
from this picture from this young lady. So I picked Scandal by Jean-Paul Gaultier for her. It has blood orange, honey, patchouli, gardenia. It's really, really sweet. I don't know if this is something that everyone would love, but definitely for someone who is unique like this one. Moving on over here, we have like a tropical kind of vibe with this piece of art. And there were quite a few that I thought about for her, but I picked one that I have so I can attest to the absolute gorgeousness of it. For her, I picked Gurla Terracotta. It is sweet, but it has like a tropical vibe, rich coconut. It's like sweet mixed with vanilla, jasmine, orange blossom, bergamot, tiara flower. It's so delicious. And it's definitely more of a summer scent. I don't wear this in the fall or winter. I try not to put my perfumes in seasons, but this one has always just been one that I pull out in the summer and it works well with her. This one reminds me of kind of like the 1920s style of dress. I adore like the butterflies. These are cutouts that were actually placed on the illustration. And I'm just like really fascinated with that. Um, the butterflies here. I love the orange, of course, in her dress. A lot of detail here. And this also is a pencil drawing. So thinking about her, I'm thinking about something vintage, but still elegant. So I came up with the idea to give her L'Envent Arpege. And that actually originated in 1927. It's an aldehyde. It has bergamot, peach, orange blossom, honeysuckle, sandalwood, patchouli, some musk. And it's like a less sweet version of Chanel number no. five. So I definitely think that works. It has the whole vintage 1920s thing going on. So that's for her. This portrait, picture, illustration, painting, however you want to categorize it. My dad gave this to me and I have always loved it. This, I think they put together like this was... Um, painted in the 90s so this is this has been with me for a while but I love her because she's like this yoga goddess and I keep her by the front door and she's just really calm and peaceful like the aura from this painting is just really calm and peaceful so I wanted something earthy for her and I picked Santal 33 by Lalabo. it's like earthy and natural it's supposed to have sandalwood in it sandalwood is not overly dominant. I don't smell it that much in this, but it's still very natural. It has Virginia cedar, cardamom, leather notes, um, violet, amber, iris. It's just really aromatic. And when I'm looking at her, I just don't see her, you know, wearing a designer perfume or something that's necessarily trendy or overly sweet. So Santal 33 is what I came up with for her. If she were a real person, I actually do think that she might actually like that. So that is what I chose for her. This illustration here is next to the balcony window. I think it's just really fresh and a little bit girly and again, the face is hidden, some anonymity. You just have to come up with your own idea about what she might look like. But because there's an innocence and kind of girlishness here, I picked Chanel number no. 19 on um, Padre, if I'm saying that correctly. But it's like this green, fresh opening. It's powdery. It's kind of gentle, floral, green musk, just like delicate and feminine. So... I thought that that would go perfectly with this one. And rounding things out, yes, Prince is, is not a female, but he is on my wall and I have to talk about him because he is known for wearing lavender. 
and specifically uh, Times Lavender is the fragrance that it was said that Prince wore. Um, I've heard that for years that that was his favorite uh, fragrance, favorite scent of his. So Times Lavender is really pretty basic and straightforward. Unisex, lavender, rosewood, clary sage, violet leaf. I have this one also. It's really pretty. It's a little sweet for my taste, but as it dries down, it's beautiful. I've just never really been into lavender that much, but hey, it's Prince, so I had to get it just to know what it smelled like. So that is it for you know, infusing some perfume into the art. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be back next time in front of the camera. So stay well, stay safe, and I will check you all later. Bye.